So for this second video we're going to be adding some thickness to the surface as well as making the temples that go back and hold the glasses to the head. And I'm going to be adding thickness within the sculpt mode. I could be doing it through model and making a parametric thickness but I want to make the whole glass in within the sculpt mode. And I'll start off by looking at it from the top because I, before we start I want to do some simple bending to make sure that we stick to our line, our original canvas. I'm going to go into modify, I'm going to select all these vertices. I'll just make sure that this last tangent handle is tangent and uh, I'll look at it from the top again. I can press top, make sure that I'm in top view and you can you make sure by seeing that there is a grid there isn't we're, we're now in an orthographic view and uh, what I want to do now is I want to set the pivot to the vertice which is furthest to the left to this towards the center of the glasses and then what I'll do is I'll rotate the whole object around the pivot point and I can set the pivot point by pressing the set pivot button and just finding my vertice which will be this one and I'll scroll back up and what I'll do now is that I'll start turning or rotating or before I do that it's we have to make sure to press done because if I now start rotating what we'll do is we'll actually rotate the pivot point so I'll press done and I'll start rotating and you'll see that I'm actually rotating the whole object and so I'm actually now I'm breaking with the original sphere but it's okay because we've already made it for the sphere we'll be using the sphere later to make the, the glasses but to make the lenses but uh, we're okay for now but I want minus two and I think that's pretty good I could also turn off the incremental move within the grids and snaps but I think minus two is pretty good and we'll just look at it from the front and it looks pretty good we're still sticking to the original canvas and I'll just press uh, link tangent handles to make sure they're still linked now if we look at it from the side we see that it's The glasses are a bit straighter now. They used to be a bit more curved, but now they're a bit straighter. And what will happen is that we, we can place the lens so that its, it's um, turning point is around here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some thickness to the surface. Um, well, actually, before we do that, I would like to modify the front a bit. Uh, I want to make a, a slight curve on the front. I haven't actually drawn it in properly. I have. You can see I've s there is a, a slight curve on the front, and I want to emphasize that a bit more. So what I'll do is I'll go into modify. I'll select the vertex selection tool, and I'll just drag the center for vertexes making sure that I've selected all of them I'll just hold down shift just make sure that I've got them all selected and now I'll just press the soft modification checkbox and I'll write 10 radius and this will allow me to actually have a smooth fall off when I move the center vertices I will also it will also affect the surrounding vertices. 
I'll view from the top. I'll just start dragging and making sure that I have a sufficient detail so that it's actually visible. I'll just turn off all my whoop, dragged itself in front there. Could be useful just to turn off all your canvases when you do that because you you're not actually able to see anything. And I'll also just scale down the front a bit. Um, maybe I'll do that afterwards. So this seems to be pretty good. I'll press OK and I'll have another look at it. And you can see that it's a bit curved. So I would like to make sure that it's completely straight. I'll just um, double click the line and I'll just scale down the front of it. And that will actually make front straighter. I'll look at it from the top and it seems to be pretty good. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll add some thickness to this. I'll go into modify and I'll just press the thickness option. I'll press the surface and what I want to do is I'll write 4 four millimeters and it tells me that it wants to thicken it forwards I don't want that I want the other direction so I'll just write minus four and I'll select a soft transition I'll tell you later explain later why We'll press OK. So this is what happens if you turn off the soft mode. And clearly this is this is not what I wanted. I actually did want a hard edge. Um, if I go back, I'll hopefully be able to show you what happens if you do the hard edge. I'll press the surface again and I'll select sharp and we should get quite a different outcome. So this is what happens if you select hard edge. Uh, the hard edge is is actually what T-splines defined as a creased edge which is a darker edge around and we could actually remove that afterwards. I prefer to do a thicken with the hard edge so that I can view it, uh, I can actually remove the crease afterwards. So for now this is pretty good. And the next step is that I want to uh, start extruding out the temples. So I'll start off by going into selection. Um, take note of the, f of the fact that there is still symmetry in the shape. I don't need to worry about that. I'll go in and I'll select these three lines. I'll drag them a bit to the side and I would like to select those three surfaces. And I'm going to start extruding that from here, holding down the Alt button as we did earlier with with faces, I'll do exactly the same procedure, and you can see that when I hold down the Alt button, I'm actually extruding out a surface, a volume, and as you can see, where there are dark lines, there is a crease, and this is what happens when you don't have a crease. So I'll, I'll, I want to go into box mode. It's a bit easier for me to view the object in box mode. And you can clearly see that I need to do some initial changes to the object. So what I could do, for example, is to actually scale down here to make sure that is a straight line. You can write zero 
and I'll drag that in a bit. I'll look at it from the top and I'll do the same here zero I'll drag it in the front of it and I could probably just select the whole line or if I just do selection filter I can select all the vertices now if you're not able to select so when I do that I'm actually selecting all the vertices if you if you're not able to do that you should go into select and make sure that the select through option is actually activated so I've got it activated and I can now modify all my objects all my I can select all my vertices I'll scale that back to zero so I'm left with a straight edge and I can start placing it back a bit okay so let's just um, make sure that it all looks okay when we go back to smooth mode so I'll just press smooth mode and I probably want to take away some creases now soon so we can go in and select uncrease and start removing some of the creases uh, I'll just double click the line doesn't seem to want to do that so what we'll do is we'll we'll double click the line in advance and so this whole line is is a, is a continuous crease I'll go into modify and I'll just uncrease that whole segment over there I'll just press OK and I also want to do the same on the top just double click it uncrease and press OK and I want to maintain the crease around where the lens is supposed to be because later on when we insert the lens it's uh, it provides a nice smooth surface to make a groove for uh, placing the lens we can also go in and we can remove this crease and it will create a smoother transition between the, the front and the temple and as you can see I'm not making hinges here I'm not going to bother with hinges for this exercise because I'm going to be printing it out on the SLS 3D printer and it's just going to be one piece this looks pretty good I'll just make sure to do a, a save from where we are and we can start actually creating the the, comp the whole temple and it's useful to now to actually view the temple from the side like that I'll go into modify I'll select these three faces and I'll hold down the alt button and I'll just start dragging it and as you can see the crease is sticking with us and it's not making a crease where we extrude the new faces which is very useful so I can actually go in from from the side view and I can easily start making new faces and we'll just continue like that
And as you can see, I'm now pretty much just all dragging my way through the shape. And I'm just panning on to the side. And I'll just make sure to make a, a nice even scale. And I can now start rotating, it, rotating the shape a bit. And it doesn't need to be exact. This, the canvas that I upload is is merely a a temporary design, and I will want to change it as I actually start drawing it digitally. So we'll have a look at it from the side. We can have a look at it from the top. You can see that it's actually slightly thick. So what we could do is we could actually consider to, to slim it down a bit. And I can do that by actually just marking some of the the vertices and just start dragging them in a bit. And as you can see there is a <laughs> five millimeter increment which is not good. So I'll go in and I'll remove the incremental move and it should be a bit smoother now. And maybe we want a bit thinner could do a simple inspect just to see the thickness of this part and the rough analysis shows that it's approximately four millimeters which is okay. Now if we go into box mode. We can see that the line is a bit higher. I would maybe like should I might have considered to do this earlier on. What we could do is we could actually just just move that a bit down. And move it up here a bit. Could be a good idea to just do it all in box mode. As you can see, the turn it looks a bit more jagged when you look at it in box mode. And basically just going through each and every vertice and moving them accordingly. So the more vertices you have, the more vertices you might need to move when you do this modification process. So try to make as few vertices as possible. Okay, I think this is, is good. It's a bit smaller around the on the in the middle, so it should be a bit more bendy. And we can now take away the crease in the back, which should give us a nice smooth 
surface. I'll go in and I'll remove the crease at the top and at the bottom and we can view it. I have to select it and we can now view it as a soft shape. And as you can see the the sides are now have now changed a bit. They're a bit smoother. And I can actually move around the the line. to make it even smoother. I think that looks pretty good. I won't bother with this top line. So we'll view it from the top. I'll put on the top view as you can see here and it's now time to just move it so that it has a nice curvature and I'll, I'll just do I'll just do it by selecting the vertices and I'll move them along the line and I'll do that in, bo in box mode. And I have to make sure just to push them with the arrow so that I don't move them out of place because they, sh they have to look the same uh, from the silhouette from the side. If I move them left to right then I'll change the thickness of them. As we go further back I could consider to give them a slight twist. And as you can see here the vertices are getting spread out because I did the original twist so that's gonna influence my shape a bit. So what I have to do is I have to tilt them back, make sure that I've selected the right vertices and I'll go back into top view and I'll move them and I'll also do a slight rotate making sure that the line of vertices flows along the curve. And you might notice here that there is a there is going to be a problem here with an overlap of vertices so we'll look into that afterwards. I'll go back to top view I'll rotate my shape I'll place them back in here select my vertices have a look from the side. Let's just turn on box on soft mod just to have a look. I'll turn off all my helping lines and I'll just put it in body so I don't have to look at all the vertices at the same time. And we can see that it looks pretty good. bit thicker at the edge. I could have changed that if I wanted to. It might be a bit thick but we'll just leave it at that for now. So there's one last thing we want to do and that is to actually make kind of a cushion for the nose and um, but I'll do that in the next video. that's that for this video